Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff Lenoski. Today's an awesome day because I'm checking out the brand new Reeb SST and some new trails. Behind me, that's the Lake Vion trail system. It's not super big, but it looks like there's some amazing rock work and features up there. So we're gonna go up there and check it out. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at this bike. So you may have already seen this bike. It's been getting a ton of coverage. This is our brand new trail bike. This is a prototype. It has 120 millimeters to 130 millimeters of rear travel. And there's a few things that make this bike super unique. So let's take a closer look. All of the main components of the rear triangle are 3D printed out of stainless steel. The seat stay clevis, the dropouts, and the chainsaw yoke are all 3D printed out of stainless steel. There's no rear pivot, which cuts down on some weight and keeps things nice and simple. The front end of this bike uses the same tube set as my Reeb Ridiculous. And as you can see, there's a ton of standover height. So you could basically choose the reach to suit your riding style because whether you choose a small, medium, large, or extra large, you're gonna be able to stand over just about any of these frames. All right, so the bike looks and sounds cool. These trails look and sound cool. This is only my second ride on the bike, so let's see how the bike and the trails feel. Let's head on out. Made it to the top and the view is so cool. And that roll down is so steep. My God, I can't believe that is in a public bike park. So we're gonna take a warm up lap and then we'll come back and check this one out. It looks sick. All right, I don't know what this one is. New bike, new trails. It all looks like this stuff is designed super sick. Ooh, some ladder work, that is cool. A uh, drop. Jump. Where are we going here? Ah, oh, I missed that one. This SST pops nice. Seems like once you get off that top ridge which isn't very big it does get pretty mellow pretty quick oh gross all right let's find this return trail because i'm pretty sure i climbed up a jump trail earlier Super short runs, but really fast. It's almost, it really is like a mountain bikeable bike park. You know, not super long runs, but super fun. All right, the first run down was super fun. This thing is super cool because it's only like a couple miles off of Route 40. So if you're driving in the area, cross country, whatever, it's super easy to jump off and hit this stuff. That's pretty cool. It's a bridge I just came down. So I guess I'm getting close to the top. I like that they added in some semi-tech climb features. Sometimes these bike parks make the climb up too easy. I think it's kind of boring. This SST climbs really nice though. See what this is. Trail close. Oh man, that is a super legit drop, but super tight. So that's gonna be kind of tricky. A lot of riders like to gap out the stuff. This is a very slow drop. I have a feeling there's gonna be some dead riders and some really, really good riders coming out of Oklahoma in the near future. I'm kind of surprised they didn't build something off of that nose right there into there. Would have been perfect. All right, let's get back up. All right, so now it's time to go check out that thing. That looks really steep. Really, really, really steep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Dude! 
That is awesome. That is so sick. We gotta do that again, get some speed, and actually jump this this time. All right, let's do it again now that we know what we're getting into. Nice and slow. Out. There's some natural lines down here that snake through, goes underneath. This is going to be super fun. This is cool. We're going to give this another shot since I kind of butchered it last time. And I think the trick is I rolled in a little fast and G'd out. So I think you want to go a little bit slower, smoother through the transition at the bottom. There you go, nice little suey. And then you can clear that jump properly. I keep missing stuff. We gotta huck this thing to flat. So let's go back to the landing of this jump and hug it to flat. All right. Here we go. Imagine I just landed. Oh. Like, feels like it has a lot more than 130. See how it hops. Nice. Now we're back on that same return trail. We'll go back up top. I want to take that rocky way down this time. This place is super fun, super small, super windy. I'm gonna try this sketchy little roll down drop off line this time. We're going right here. Whoa, I just got falling so bad. I don't even know where I'm going. This is like flat tire central in there. Oh, a little duck through and then into the jump with no speed. All right, let's see if we can find this ladder bridge rolling over here. It's kind of feel like somebody's backyard trails a little bit. Cause everything's so close. All right, here we are. It's not marked. Going down here. Huck to flat. Huck to uphill. You can tell, definitely tell it's spring because these trails could use a little love. That drop up there, when it gets finished, is going to be pretty legit. All right, definitely not going through there. Maybe this way. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna hit fallen trees. It goes from like mega gnarly to mega mellow, super easy pedal trails, all within like 100 yards because the peak of the mountain's right over there. All right, everybody, thanks for riding with me today and thanks for checking out my new bike. I'll put a link to the Reeb SST in the description below and a link to Trail Forks for Lake Vion. It's a super fun place to ride. It's kind of unique. The features are a 10 out of 10. The trail layout couldn't quite figure out totally. It's still also pretty early in April, so the trails could use a little bit of TLC even though they're open. Definitely worth checking out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, get out there and be a boss.